Hello scientists, I will show you how to draw the intrinsic apoptosis pathway in this video. Before we get into the tutorial, there are a few things I want to let you guys know. I have designed a Inkscape beginner course. You can check the link in the description. This course is specifically designed for scientific researchers who want to start using this free open source software. I notice a lot of you guys don't have the budget to subscribe to Adobe Illustrator. Inkscape is a perfect alternative, so check it out and give it a try and the second announcement is i'm building the world's number one schematic scientific illustration database so check out the link in the description and take a look at the database you can search for the tutorial on my web page if you want to suggest any topic just send me a message via the contact form and i will see what i can do this will be a community driven database and i'm really excited now i finished all the announcement let's get into the tutorial the apoptosome is the most complicated part i'll show you how to draw it first let's draw a circle and we need to make the outline thicker we need to break it here uh, break path at selected node so now you can delete it and make sure you have the round cap usually you will see it like this but make sure you switch it to the round cap this bezier tool Draw an S shape. Click. And then tilt it a little bit. Come down a straight line like this. Okay. And press enter. And we also need to make it like three points wide and round cap. And switch to the um, edit path by node tool and select the node, make selected node smooth. And then let's do the same here. And I will rotate it like this and adjust the handles a little bit like this. All right, then come to path and then click on stroke to path. And now you see your stroke has become two paths. Then we will click on union. Wait, first let me ungroup them. Select them and click on union. You can put a yellow fill, a gray outline. Now the outline is really thick, so you cannot see as an outline. But if you switch it to 0 0.5, then you'll get this shape. Let's copy the sphere from here. Okay. And I will change its color to magenta like this. And then uh, we need some ellipse. So I will just copy from here. Let's straighten it up. And attach it. Let me change its, co its color to great. And uh, we need to make another copy like this. Spin it a little bit. This one needs to be in a different color. Let me put a purple in there. Okay. And we have a little rectangle to connect them. And let me move this to the top and then this one to the top. Okay. Now let's group all of them and I will make a copy like control C and then control D. Then you'll have a copy that's right on top of the object. Uh, but here, what I would do is control D, extra object, and then we need to rotate it. So let's come to transform 
When you're in the rotation mode, you'll see here's an anchor point. Then move it to the tip of the orange ellipse. And now when you rotate it, it will rotate relative to the anchor point that you set. Let's control C, control D, and then rotate for 60 degrees again. Control C, control D, rotate again. Let me zoom out. Control C, control D, rotate. Then control C, control D, rotate. And <laughs> Then you have your up of toe zone. This is uh, a little bit more complicated than usual. Okay, then I'll write up up toe zone. I'll just copy one arrow here. Let me rotate it for 90 degrees since we have the rotation tool ready here. Those are cytochrome C that comes from the mitochondria. The next thing I will make is the XIAP. So just grab the rectangle tool and Around the corners then you can like, go to pad object to pad and now you can grab the edit note tool to add a note at the center of the top edge drag the note down a little bit and then let's go up here and click on make selected note smooth and adjust your notes a little bit let's give it a gradient and then we can label it as XIAP let's create some T shapes as the inhibition signs now we need to create the APF1 monomers. I'll copy one from the uptoe zone. And we need to break the anchor point here. And then I can remove the tail. Then I'll connect these two anchor points. Let me rotate it a little bit so the opening will be facing upward. Then I'll grab the Bizier tool and draw a hook shape. Then I'll make the stroke thicker. And I'll come to object and stroke to path. Now we can give it the same yellow fill and unite them into one union. You will have your APAF monomer. Then we can copy some of the existing shapes to create MOMP, SMAC, and BHC. We can then create the BCL2. First draw a square and I'll give it a radial gradient. I can just select the gradient from the archive. I'll convert it from object to path. Let me make it a little bit smaller and I'll grab the edit node tool and make all the nodes round. Then I'll rotate these two handles so I can have a pointy end on one side of the BCL2. Then I can place it here and I will adjust the cytosol proportion a little bit so I can fit everything in. And then just some minor adjustments and uh, some indication of the inhibitions. Then we are done with the intrinsic apoptosis pathway.